Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing well. So this video is about gate preparation and for all of you who are preparing for gate 2023. So I hope you all know gate is just around 5 months left. And this upcoming 5 months what is left, this is very crucial. So how you will be utilizing this 5 months that will determine your future life. So if you can utilize it properly and can achieve a very good gate rank from gate 2023, then after that your life will be completely changed. You can go to IITs and ISC, do your MTech and, and, and your life will be a completely different than what you are doing now. So that's why next 5 months that is very crucial and that's why I've decided that I'll be sharing a rough five months plan or strategy that you can follow and ensure a very good gate rank from gate 2023. So in this video, I'm going to share a five months plan. Month wise, I'll be discussing that what you should do each month and what can be your plan plan for each month and what you should do in the next five months so that you can achieve a very good gate rank. So if you want to know about this plan, please do watch the video till end. And as I always say in the starting of video that if you're new to this particular channel, uh, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. Now first let's start with the first two months that is September and October. So in these first two months, you have to focus on reading the subjects and complete your whole syllabus. So whatever 10 or 11 subjects is there in your gate syllabus, you have to study them uh, from different standard notebooks or video lectures or if you are following any coaching materials, whichever you know reference that you are following, you have to read those subjects topic wise from that reference and try to understand them very, very well. Because you know, in the gate, you will be asked questions from the basic understanding of the subject. So it's very crucial that you are reading the subjects very well and understanding them without mugging up things because you know I know uh, for all the students who are from tier 2 or tier 3 colleges they have this habit of mugging up concepts and writing up in the in the in the exam that habit you have to leave and you have to read the subjects and understand them very well so that you know you can attain the questions in the gate exam now along with the subject study you must attain the previous year questions and solve them uh, because uh, you know these previous year questions are the only available set of standard questions which is prepared by IIT professors and whenever you'll be solving them you will be getting a flavor of the gate exam paper so that's why you know whenever you are reading different topics and subjects try to solve its previous year questions so that you can you can realize that how well you have prepared for that particular topic so if you can solve a particular topics previous year questions very well then it, it shows that your understanding for that topic is well and you can move to the other topic so that's why solving previous year question is very important and finally you can appear for a few subject type test uh, so suppose uh, you have taken any coaching institutions mock test and if there is any subject wise test available which is there for all the coaching institute then when preparing for a subject suppose you have completed one subject then you can appear for your subject wise test to you know practice more on 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 that on that particular subject so these are the three things that you must do for the next couple of months that is september and october you should read all the subjects topic wise you should practice for his previous year questions and you can attempt the subject twice test that is available. Next is November, December and in these two months you should dedicate uh, for appearing for different full length mock test. Now why full length mock test? So I have mentioned it in many of my previous videos that your success in gate exam 60% or 70% depends on how well you have prepared for the gate syllabus. So how well you have studied those 10 to 11 subjects that is there in gate syllabus, how well you know about those subjects. But 30% depends on how well well you have handled the pressure on the final day in the final gate exam and that is very crucial because I have seen many people who have prepared very well in the in the in the gate syllabus but they can't handle the pressure on the final day and they haven't done well in the in the gate exam so you know you should know how to handle the pressure on the final day and how to manage the time and that you can practice through appearing different mock tests now whenever you'll be appearing for mock test there will be some situation like some some too many tough questions are coming uh, then how you should react how you shouldn't panic on the on the situation and how you should keep on solving the question uh, and wait for an easy question to come or maybe some 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 you know a sequence of easy questions are coming 
then also you know you should be calm and you should solve the questions carefully and you should make it correct because if the questions are coming uh, easy then all the students will be doing well so you you shouldn't do any silly mistake there so all of these different situations that will ap appear in the in the in the different mock test when you will be appearing for that and these situations this experiences of you know handling this situation will help you in the final exam so it's very crucial that you know you appear for different uh, different full length mock tests and one thing i'll be mentioning here that you can't expect that you know whatever question that you are that you are solving in the full length mock test that that will be coming in the in the in the final exam because these mock test questions are set by coaching institutions on the other hand gate questions will be prepared by iit professors so it's it's obvious that you know gate questions will be much more standard so you can't expect these questions will be coming repeating in the final exam but what will repeat is all of this situations like handling difficult questions handling easy questions and all of these things that will be repeating in the final exams and your experience of appearing in different mock tests that will help you now next thing i will be telling you that uh, when you should appear for this mock test so i will always recommend you that try to appear for mock test in the gate slots like morning 9 to 12 or you know you know afternoon 2 to 5 um because these are two slots one of them you will be having for your gate exam and you should appear for the mock test in these two slots so that will be a practice for you that you are appearing you are you, are, you know you are getting prepared for the final day uh, because your actual slot that will be uh, that will you will you will come to know at the end of december or the first week of january so you can't wait uh, so long for practicing uh, uh, the full length test so that's why i'll suggest you that you know alternatively alternatively you appear for these two slots so suppose today you appear for a mock test in the morning slot next day you appear for the mock uh, mock test in the afternoon slot so this is the first one and second one is that after appearing for a for a full length mock test try to analyze them because that is also very important so it's not it's, it is it is not only sufficient that you know you appear for a mock test you get some marks and you have you are done with them with the mock test you have to analyze them also so whenever you are appearing for the mock test in the evening you analyze them and you, you try to understand that what are what are the what, what are the subjects that you are strong at what are the subjects that you are doing well and what are the subjects that you are not doing well what are your weaknesses and these weaknesses you need to do well uh, in in future for maybe in the next next exam or, or after that you need to do well in the in these weak weak part and you have to prepare well you maybe you have to read those subjects again you have to solve some previous year questions and some other questions so that you can do 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 well in this weak part on the other hand what are the strong part is there you need to keep the momentum there in the part so you shouldn't do much mistake take there because those are your strong points and you need to you know whenever you'll be appearing for the mock test in the in the next you need to focus on getting as much marks as possible from from these subjects also you will get to know what are the mistakes that you are doing what are the silly mistakes that you are doing and these things you need to keep track of so that you won't repeat them in the in the next exam so these are the all, all of these things you'll get to know once you analyze uh, the mock test paper and according to that you need to prepare for the next next mock test so that's why analyzing the mock test is very important finally alongside these different mock tests you must revise the subjects uh, very well uh, so whatever whatever the subject that you have gone uh, gone through so far in the past two months that is september and october you have to revise them otherwise you'll be forgetting so i i I'll recommend you to take your routine like this so suppose one day you have given the mock test so then take two days gap and the third day give another mock test and in this two days break you try to revise the subjects that you have gone through so far so that so if you if you keep on revising then then you won't be forgetting the subject and you know it's not possible that you know in the mock test you are getting questions from all the subjects so which are the subjects that you are not getting questions maybe you, you are you're forgetting those subjects and via this you know this revision you won't be won't be then forgetting the subjects and you will be in touch with all the subject so i will recommend you to appear for around 20 to 25 mock tests in these periods and and apart from that what whatever days that you are getting you should keep on revising the subjects now final month that is january 2023 uh, you should focus on revising all the subjects again from your notebook or the standard book that you are referring and solve the previous question paper once more 
so i i would recommend you to take any mock test in the final month but you can take few if you want because i have seen people taking a mock test in the final month and doing doing well in the final exam but what i feel is that if you keep on solving the mock test in the final month then your mind will be biased towards this typical questions that is been asked by different coaching institution so that's why i would recommend anyone to take any any full length mock test in the final month but i have seen people taking few mock test even in the final month and they have done well in the gate exam so that's up to you but my recommendation will be that you keep you should focus on revising the subjects very well uh, practicing in the previous year questions paper again and you can you can you know revise few tricky questions what you have encountered in different mock test or different uh, other other resources is like well, maybe some books or maybe in the subject wise test if you have appeared few tricky question that you should look in this uh, in this final month and this should be your whole preparation so you should revise very well all the subjects you should solve the previous questions very detail and that should be your you know final one month preparation strategy so yeah this is about the whole five months plan so first two months you should prepare for the subject solve the previous year question paper next two months you should you know practice mock test and keep on re revising the subjects and final months you should again revise the subjects thoroughly from the standard books or your copy whatever you are referring and you should again solve the previous year questions and that will be enough if you follow this simple strategy i i believe that you will you will take up you will take a very good preparation for gate 2023 and you will do well in the final exam so this will be a base or basic strategy that i have i have mentioned so you can change it according to your convenience but this will be kind of a overall or high level strategy that you can follow for the next five months so i hope you like this video and if you have liked this video please hit a like button and let me know your thoughts if you have any questions you can comment it out in the comment section and share this video to many other gate aspirants your friends uh, whoever also who, who are also preparing for the gate exam and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye